When we talk about the chain rule, we're really talking about taking the derivative of a composite function. And hopefully you remember from pre-calculus or a, a different course exactly what a composite function is, but it's when you have one function <coughs> excuse me, inside of another. So when you have that, this is equal to, if you have f of g of x, and we'll look at an example if, if function notation is difficult for you, but the, the chain rule is just f prime of g of x, so in other words the derivative of the outside function, and then you leave the inside function inside unchanged, and then you multiply by the derivative of the inside function, so it would be g prime of x. So if you like function notation better than you liked looking at the dy dx is equal to dy du times du dx. Th there, these are two different ways of, of, of saying the exact same thing. So we did the dy dx in the last video. Let's look at the, 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 uh, the function notation in this video. Okay. So, if let's let's do an example here. If we had f of x is equal to x to the one hundredth power, and g of x is equal to x squared minus five. I think that's what I used in the last video. It was some something like this. Well then, f of g of x means that we take this stuff for this, uh, we take g of x, oops, I don't want to do that, but we take g of x and we plug it in for the x. So we kind of think of the parentheses around the x and we're going to take whatever g of x is and, and plug it in for that x. So f of g of x, so f of g of x, is going to equal it's going to equal this whole thing all of g of x basically x squared minus 5 to the hundredth power oops x squared minus 5 to the hundredth power so we took g of x and we just plugged it in for x so we have f of g of x and I hope that makes sense to you that's just a composite function so now if we're going to use the, the the chain rule if we want to take the derivative of, of this, so if we want to take the derivative of this, we have to take the derivative of both sides, right? So in other words, the derivative of f of g of x, well we know it's going to be f prime of g of x times g prime of g of x. So let me just rewrite that over here. It's going to be f prime of g of x, so the derivative of the outside function, and leave the inside function inside unchanged, times by the derivative of the inside function. f prime of g of x, or g, g prime of x is what I was writing. Okay, so that's the left side. We know that that has to be, you know, we have to do the same to the, to the right side. So what is f prime of x? You know, if we were taking the derivative of just the outside. Well, we can think of that as, as the power rule. So that's 100 to the 99th power. Or, sorry, 100. And then what happens? You leave g of x inside unchanged. So g of x was just x squared minus 5. And we took the derivative of f of x right there. Right? We took the derivative of the outside function just using a power rule. So we have 100 times, repeat all this inside stuff to the 99th power. Okay. Times the derivative of the inside. So that's just going to be 2x minus 0, but of course 2x minus 0 is just, you know, the 0 doesn't matter, so this is the derivative right here. 100 times x squared minus 5 to the 99th times 2x. So that's two different ways to look at the chain rule, and and I like, I, I, I'm glad I've, I, I had the opportunity to show it to you this way, because I will often be referring to things as outside and inside functions because I think that's the easiest way to remember it. Derivative of the outside, repeat the inside, times by the derivative of the inside. And now that you've seen it as a, comp as, you know, in, uh, in terms of a composite function, it might be easier to think of something being an inside function. 
Okay, so that's that's chain rule, and I'll see you in the next video.